to another DIY fidget video. My name is Natasha and I'm joining you from the Carla King Library which is located on Tree Six Territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis. And today we're going to be making a fidget bookmark. So there's a few steps to this and we're going to need some beads, some string, and bonus if you have any stretchy string. And probably a pair of scissors would be a good idea. So the first part we're going to make is with our colored string here. And we're going to start by getting a pretty long piece of string. I would say start with at least three times the length of your arm. And just cut that off. And then get to an end. And we're going to make a tassel. So the fastest way to make a tassel is just take two fingers and wrap the string around it a whole bunch of times. And I'm just going to do a small tassel this time. So that's probably lots. And then you're just going to trim that. And you're going to gently slide it off and put it down so you have your opening in the center. And then you take your rest of your string, the really long bit, and you're going to slide that through the, the loop. Like this. Until you have both your ends together. And you're just going to tie that together a few times really tight. So I'm probably, probably going to do at least three knots. really tight and then you stick your scissors through the other end and just trim that all and that gives you your tassel and you can just trim it till it's equal And you can just put this together like this. And then just give it a little mini haircut. Until you like the shape of your tassel. And you can leave it like that or you can do one last little touch. Where you take another little piece of string. Like this and you just tie it around the top of your tassel to give it that little you know the little bump part at the top that some tassels have this also just helps the tassel look a little bit fuller so I'm just gonna give that a little knot Just like that, and I'm just going to do that a few more times. Make it nice and tight. to just trim that string to match the length of my tassel. So just a nice little mini tassel, something extra that looks cute and is fun to play with. All right, and now with the rest of our string, we're gonna make 
the sliding bead part. So I'm going to put the tassel at the top. And I'm going to tape it down. And then I'm going to split both strings like that. And then I'll show you how to put the beads on. You can pick a design out ahead of time if you want, or you can just use any colors in any order. I'm just kind of going to do that. You're going to take your bead and put it on one side of the string, like that. And then you're going to take your second string, and you're going to put it through the bottom of the bead. Wiggle it through the bottom till it comes out the top. And then you're gonna pull the bead out. And your bead will end up facing this way. So put the bead on one side. And then with the second string, stick it through the bottom of the bead. And then pull it tight. And it doesn't have to be very tight because we're going to be leaving some extra space at the end for sliding the bead. So on one side and then under through the bottom for the other side and you'll notice the strings kind of switch ends each time like that. So I'm going to keep doing that for a little bit. I'm going to put on some more beads until I like how long it is. And then I'll show you how to finish it off and add the stretchy string, the part that turns this into a bookmark. Okay. So now that we have a few beads on there, we're just going to leave a gap and tie the end of the string up a little bit here. Really any knot will do. And now we have the basic fidget part done already, so now we can slide these beads up and down back and forth. So you could stop right there and make this a keychain or something to put on your water bottle and play like that. But we're going to take it a few more steps and make it into a bookmark. And you could do that just with your string if that's all you have, but it works really well if you have any stretchy string. So I have this stretchy string that I'm going to add here. I'm just going to trim, well, I'm going to trim this a little bit to give some space. And then I just need to tie this through this bead and at the end here so that I can wrap around my book. I have a book. And then I'm going to stick one end through this bottom bead. The very last bead we have. And any knot you know how to do is totally fine. As long as it's nice and tight. Okay, so that's really tight. I'm going to trim off the little edge. And then I'm going to take the other end. And there's a little loop at the end of my tassel, so I'm going to stick it through that. And I'm going to tie it right there. trim it and there we go now we have our fidget bookmark so the idea here is the stretchy part can save your spot in your book and 
the fidget can stay outside on the top of your book and you can play with it when you're not reading. Just like that. So that's how you make a fidget bookmark. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day.